So share this story. If you don't know about this story, it's one of the most insane bad cop stories you will hear in a while, okay? I'm telling you, there is a police officer in Portland, Oregon, who has been fired, who, who was also the former president of the Portland Police Association, or PPA, because he lied on a city commissioner, and he made up a story about this woman being involved in a felony hit and run that she was never involved in, and he only did this because he because Joanne Hardesty, who is a Portland city commissioner, criticized the police meaning he crafted a story about her being involved in a felony hit and run and then leaked that to the media because she criticized the police unbelievable if you have not heard about this story please keep watching and so brian hunzecker has been fired and received a termination letter from mayor ted wooler and the portland police chief who was chuck lavelle on february 28th and this comes one year after he leaked information falsely identifying commissioner joe ann hardesty as a hit and run suspect and so back on march 3rd 2021 of last year you had an accident a hit and run accident and so a victim said that they thought that the person who hit them was joanne hardesty and looked like joanne hardesty and so brian hunsecker he got that police report and he sent that out to the local media and now you might be saying well what's wrong with that what's wrong with that is that it was already ruled that joanne hardesty was not there so he sent that after he already knew she was not a suspect and he painted her like a suspect in the felony hit and run because mind you this type of hit and run is a felony in oregon and so in october 2021 of last year the portland police bureau sent a letter to commissioner hardesty informing her that an internal affairs investigation found hunzecker did in fact share confidential information to the media and that he did it in response to hardesty's negative comments about ppb officers she criticized the police and they tried to frame her for a felony hit and run. And Hardesty says, quote, when you have taken on police accountability issues as long as I have, you come to expect these kinds of attacks. This is a normal tactic used to discredit people. Like, and, and you know, honestly, that is the honest truth. They, you know, they've taken out warrants on me, on, on several other people. They've done it to whistleblowers all the time. So this story is freaking insane. Wow. Just unreal, man.